Hello everybody, welcome back. This is my intro to Project Use It Up for 2019. And I'm also combining this with Finish 20 in 2020. So how I'm incorporating both of those together is there are 20 categories for me to finish this year. And I also took out a category from last year which was the antibacterial hand gels because now I'm down to three. So, I am completely happy with that. Two are in use. One is a backup. Like, that's the way it needs to be. So, some things are tweaked a little. Some categories, I ended up dividing them because I wanted to do something a little different. But here we go. Three brow products. I never did the brow products before because I didn't even count them as eye products or face products so eyebrow I have a lot of eyebrow items I want to say I have eighteen eyebrow products and I know three doesn't seem like a lot when you hear I have eighteen but That is something that's doable for me to use up like a highlighter, a brow, you know, pencil, and a gel. That seems really, really doable to me. Now, if I go over it, I'm okay with that as well. For nail polish, I'm going to continue my goal of three a year three a year is very doable for me a base coat a top coat and a color that <laughs> works out very well for me and i have 170 nail polishes right now including base top and color glitters all that jazz so finishing three of those is always my goal because that's a very doable thing for me sheet mask i want to continue using for a month, I use one every Friday, give or take. So, it should be 52, but last year I had 49, which was really great. The year before was 48. So, maybe I'll hit 52 this year. My goal is to work through everything that I have because I have 40 sheet masks. So if I can do all of those sheet masks, I will completely deplete my inventory so there will only be any new ones that I acquire. So, yes, that is a goal again. Shampoo and conditioner, five of each. And I already have the first two in mind, the first of each category in mind. So a shampoo should be done, one, two washes, a conditioner, will definitely be done so I'm starting off very early on in January with one in each category so then I will have the rest of the year to finish four more and conditioner I always just pick up what's available and shampoo there's always three shampoos a clarifying which is usually Alberto VO5 there's a new suave one that I saw that would be interesting to try um, there's a moisturizing one and then my head and shoulders. All right, for body lotions. It says I want to complete six because at the time I set this, I only had six in my life. I now have 10, which 10 is definitely doable, but I'm going to keep the six. But I will probably finish all 10 this year because body lotion is a very... And they're all the creams except for one. So I can definitely go through a cream in a month. Give or take a week like the shower gel. So Because I also have another goal of lotions in here. For eye products, 
I want to use six. My goal was to use six last year, and I used seven. It's mascara, primers, and liners. So I will at least go through two mascaras. So I'm working through an eye primer right now. So that's three. Use up liquid pencil liners because I don't have any cream. So that's a very doable. But it's also a push to make sure that I'm using these items. Six hair care products. It's gel, leave-ins, oils, lotions, grease, mask. Because I, d I wasn't including mask in there last year. 2017, possibly 2018, I was doing a mask every two weeks. But now I'm just going to incorporate the mask into the hair care products. I want to use five eye masks because that is what I own. I want to get rid of that category because I don't know that I love them enough to own them. So, cuz it was 7, but I only have 5 in my life right now, so I will rearrange my list. I want to finish 10 body sprays and perfumes. We saw last year that I finished 11, and that was when I was working with roller balls and perfume samples, and I don't have perfume samples this year. I completely, there may be one from Sephora, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I got a sample from Sephora. So there's one perfume sample, but that will go into another category in this project but yeah so 10 I finished 11 last year and all I'm going to be working on is body sprays and perfumes so I am very excited about this I want to work on 10 candles this is a brand new category candles I am not using enough candles I have a collection of them they range from dollar store to Bath and Body Works to Michaels. I have a couple. Do I have a couple? I at least have one from Charmed Aroma. So, yes, that is what I'm working on. Getting through those candles because I really like the Bath and Body Works. And I would like to participate in one of their first Saturday of December's candle sales like they were $9.50 this year that went up like 55 cents but that's still a great price $9.50 for the candles that are at least $25 like that's a really nice price I want to use 10 face products I think my goal was only six last year so I bumped it up face products are blush foundation bronzer highlighter face primer and powders whether it's loose or pressed so I'm very excited I would like to work through some things figure out if I want powder in my life or to at least knock it down so I only have one powder because powders take forever for me highlighters as well I would love to finish a highlighter this year that would be great a blush foundation I'm working through but they are never ending as well for me. This is a category that the products take quite a bit of time for me to use up. I want to use up 10 hair care samples. So those are the little foils or like the little plastic like hair mask or curl puddings. Those types of things. Because hair care was going into not another category samples not in another category and I want them to be their own so I can get 10 of those out because I also want to use up 10 samples not in another category so that would be mini shower gels if I get to any um perfume samples that come in I use them up and get them out so whatever's not in another category will definitely go in there Toothpaste, mini toothpaste, because I have a ton of mini toothpaste that I want to get out. 
So I'm working on 10 shower gels again. 10 shower gels is what I can do in a, a year. And they range from 10 ounces and more. They're Bath and Body Works, except for one I that my mind remembers. It's a dial that I found. So I want to go through 10 more shower gels because I can use one of the regular Bath and Body Works that are 10 ounces in a month, give or take a week. So, you know. 15 lip products. That's Balm, Gloss, Liner, Lipstick, Scrub. 15 of them. I want to say I was able to do 22 last year. So, yes. Let me see. Lip. Lip, lip, lip. 15, I want to do, okay. I did 22 lip products last year. So I'm at 15 this year. New category. I want to use up 20 eyeshadows this year. This is a huge undertaking. But 2020 is all about going big or going home. And 20 eyeshadows is what I want. I've done at least three in a year. But I'm going to work really hard to do 20 eyeshadows this year. I am working on some for my Pan That Palette. I have some in some another panning project that I am, I want to work through all of these. So Pan That Palette, panning project, all those, I finished a single shade. They all count as me finishing 20 eyeshadows in a year. I want to finish 20 travel size lotions. Because I currently own 23 of the, I call them fun size, lotions. So that will leave me with three, possibly. Because I like the thicker body creams or hand creams to go in my purse. And then I have some body ones, you know, from Bath and Body Works, obviously. I want to finish 24 wax melts. I was able to do 27 last year. 24 this year, I think, will knock me down to a very, very manageable amount. So then I could continuously buy, you know, Dollar Tree sells them, Walmart, Target. Everybody sells a wax melt. I could even go back to Yankee Candle when they have them for a dollar a piece. But I want to get through all of these and move on to new stuff. And then the last category is skincare samples. I want to finish 30 skincare samples. 30 is always very doable because I get a lot through my subscriptions. Last year I was able to finish 42. 30 this year seems very, very doable again. Because I was able to finish 30 at least in 2018 as well. So 30 is very doable. And that's any kind of skincare from cleansers to moisturizers to eye creams to masks, you name it. If it's taking care of my skin, it's going in there. All right, you guys. So this is my intro to Project Use It Up 2020. I have 20 categories. I have no idea how many products I actually want to finish, but... I'll put it in the description box below or probably across the screen how many products in total that I want to use up. I want to thank you guys for viewing. If you are doing some version of Project Use It Up because Project Use It Up is a very user-friendly project. You choose what you want to use up. You don't even have to have categories like I do. I, I just like to have things going on over here. You can... Choose a few items every month that you want to finish up or make a dent in. Because that's how Lauren May Beauty was doing it. Um, Curious Sparkles. Those are the main two I knew were doing a project Use It Up. Which is such an amazing thing and it's so user friendly. So if you only have, you know, if you had 
a conditioner that you don't love, but it still works, but you already found the one that you love to use, put that other one in there to use it up. Boom. Project Use It Up. All right, you guys, that, like I keep saying, was my intro. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.